Good morning, welcome to Art Day, and this is the next to last day of camp. Um, today we will be making an art smock, and um, I also included some art projects you can already have in your arsenal. Each one was made by a different child of mine. And here we'll be making an art smock, which is no sew, and we'll be making an art box, which is made from a Q tip holder and um, just involves adding some buttons and ribbons and a um, you know art tag uh, and I'll show you different uh, supplies you can make for your art so let's start with the smock we are going to need four buttons felt because we're also gonna make a pocket um, six pieces of ribbon measuring at two inches each, four pieces of ribbon measuring at nine inches each. First, we are going to start. I didn't pre-cut out the smock because I wanted to show you. You are going to take a piece of felt, fold it, fold it enough that you can fit the pattern on it. And I use chalk today, but you can also use a pen or marker, whatever is easier. Get the bottom and the top here, and you are going to cut just right here. Take this part out. Excuse me. Just right here. And then make sure the fold is folded down and you're gonna cut all the way down. You're not gonna cut this fold. You're gonna cut right here and watch what happens after you cut on the fold. Hopefully my scissors cut straight. I don't think so. I don't think they did. Cut a little. cut on a fold and look, I've got the apron. So I've got this and then there's also a pattern for a pocket. I already pre-cut that out. And then what I wanna do with my hot glue gun, and again, be very careful with hot glue. You can have an adult help you or, you know, you just take your time don't want to rush it. I'm going to start here. Start right here. Ooh, hold on a sec. All right, so I have my hot glue gun. I'm going to put in my extra piece of glue, or at least have it ready. There we go. I'm going to start here, and then... Put the pocket there. And then I'm gonna go around slowly and glue the rest of it down. And it's great because it's no sew. It's a simple art smock. Tomorrow we're gonna make another apron that is a sew project, but it's pretty easy. I can show you an easy, there's a, I mean, it could also be no sew, but I'll probably show you both ways to make it. I'm just gonna get this little bit right here and then just make sure there's no holes in it. There's one right here, I think. Take care of that. Okay, so we have a little pocket to put our art supplies in. Now, we have this, and as you notice on here, we need four holes to put um, the, the ribbons. But actually, before we actually do the four holes, let's glue on our six pieces of two inch ribbon. We're just gonna fold the two inch ribbon in half, flip this over, and across the bottom, we're going to glue 
these pieces of ribbon. I'm going to touch it up right here. Let me put some glue on top, make sure it doesn't flip over. Have another piece. I'm going to glue it on this side just so I can eventually come back together in the middle. Oh, this is very stiff ribbon. And I did not use a whole spool of ribbon. This ribbon I got here, uh, let's see, 15 inches by nine, nine feet of ribbon. I had already started using some and um, I didn't use the whole thing for sure. So one spool of ribbon should be enough. Might help us if I go like that. Take this, hold it down. Okay, I'm gonna go across and finish all the ribbons here, and then I'll be right back. I'm so sorry, I had to come right back because that was very blurry. So hopefully you can see a little bit better. So I'll do two more of the other ribbons because that was blurry. First, I'm gonna glue the ribbon together since I'm finding that's easier to do. Give that a minute to settle on. And then I take a little bit here and stick the ribbon on. Take a second piece. Hold it together. And hot glue is hot. Don't forget that. So be careful when working with it. Let's see here. And then I'm going to go and put on the last two pieces. As you can see, I've got all the ribbons down on here. So now I'm going to take a single hole punch and I'm going to compare it to my other um, apron. And I don't want to put it too far, so I'm going to actually take my chalk See if I can mark it with a chalk where I want the holes. Same thing here, mark it with the chalk. So we pretty much want them, I might move it a little bit, but like in the middle of, but we want enough space that it's not gonna leave, like the hole's not gonna rip. Ugh. Uh, I think it's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Hold on a sec. Okay, my hole punch got stuck on the felt. So let's see. I could take my apron, kind of compare, and again, use a little chalk to mark it. I want the second hole. I'll come up. Uh, really have to push and sometimes if I need to I'll just use my fabric scissors to cut the rest of the way around so then I have the two holes here and these holes they can either be just above where your pocket is these are kind of I think I'm gonna go with the lower one because I want them to go around the doll's hip of course so there we go. Oh, that went all the way through. You want to make sure you have enough that you can safely tie it around and it's not going to rip through the fabric. Take this one, just like my other one. Cut the rest of this off. 
chalk. Okay. That we know they're at least mostly evenly apart. Okay, good. So I've got four holes. I'm going to take my nine inch piece of ribbon. And this ribbon's a little tougher than might want to work with like a less stiff ribbon, but I don't know. I liked this one. I wanted to work with this one. We're going to go with it. And all you're going to do is tie it to the apron. And don't forget, if you want to stop the fraying, you can use um, some na clear nail polish and that will stop the ribbon from fraying. I'll probably do that after I'm done with this. So there's that side. Hopefully we'll be able to tie it around the doll. I'm going to do the rest of them. I'm going to tie one here, 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 and here. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off too. All right, be right back. Okay, I have all the ribbons on there. And now for decoration, I'm going to take four buttons and just kind of place them outside each hole. So all we have to do is glue them on. Place glue on the back. There's one. Sorry, I have a lot of glue on my fingers. I'm trying to get them off. Three. And four. There we go. And you're done. You have a great little art apron for your doll. And this I found you just have enough ribbon to tie a knot around the doll. If you want to tie a bow, maybe cut 10 inches of ribbon versus uh, nine. And um, again, probably use a less stiff ribbon than I did. So there we go, we have a whole new um, apron for your doll and um, Notice I had always used pattern felt that this kind of makes it easier or you can add the hearts or something to it with another felt. Um, if you want, you can make pencils out of, um, you would take, trying to get that closer, see if that will adjust. You could take uh, toothpicks, cut them down to size, color, the top's gray, bottom's pink, and you have a pencil. And you could do the same with making a color pencil. You kind of color the whole thing and the tip one color. I have a ton of pencils. Where are my color pencils? And then they can have that in there. And Or you could buy doll accessory toothbrushes or something to include with that. So that is the apron. See, that's the apron. Next, we are going to make the art box. For this, you need one ribbon 13 and a half inches. 
and one Q-tip box, any style, and two buttons for the side. And then I'll show you how we can at least personalize our art box. I have here a brand new Q-tip box, not the exact same as my other one, but it'll do. And I have my ribbon. And for this one, you don't necessarily need to um, put nail polish on the ends because we are going to be putting the glue on the, the tips of the ribbon. So I figure for this kind of box, maybe like a half inch down from where you can open the box. So I'll kind of take my Sharpie. I want to put it there. Let me put a slight, not there, I want it there. Put a slight mark on it, just so I know. And I'll take my hot glue. it. I think it should go here. I'm just kind of comparing and then that's hot. And I might want to put it a little more here just so it stays well. Same on the other side. More here. Then what I'm gonna do is I have two buttons to kind of add a little something to it. Put some glue on the buttons and then add the buttons to the bottom of the ribbon. And you could get buttons at the dollar store or the craft store, wherever. Sometimes Target has like a little thing of buttons you can buy. Depends where you can find them. All right, mine was a little off. I'll have to fix that later with a heat gun. But there you have your basic design of your art box. Um, and I have like my little printables I have of artwork. You could put your sample artwork in here and you can also put in your pencil and a, uh, let me see what I got here, a color pencil. And if we wanna just personalize our box a bit, I did cut one of my printables and I'm gonna try glue stick to see how that holds for that. Just cover the back of my artwork with a glue stick. Put that just below. Make sure you be able to open your box. Fold it over if I need to. And then right right art on the box and then you're done you have a great little art case for your dolls so those are two simple no sew just hot glue crafts and tomorrow is our last day of camp and we are going to be making the three crayons theater it is going to be a two-page printable tomorrow, and we are going to have two videos because I'm going to take you on a tour of my Three Crayons movie theater, and um, then we're going to have our uh, lesson on how to make the accessories for the movie theater. Okay, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day.